Hello, today I'm going to take you through the HIV-1 rapid test for recent infection, the stepwise procedure. Before you start testing, check kit before use. Use only kits that have not expired and test devices that are not damaged. Keep kits stored at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius. If kits were stored below room temperature, bring them to room temperature before testing. Bring stored specimens from refrigerator to room temperature prior to use. Always use universal safety precautions when handling specimens. Keep work areas clean and organized. Number one, a sample test kit and supplies is shown in the picture where there is the Asante box kit, the biohazard bag, a pen, a marker, a preset timer, and the kit components, which are the test strip, the loops, and the buffer. Number two, label sample buffer tube is shown in the picture. Place tube on a stand. Use provided foam stand if lab stand is not available. Remove the lid and keep the lid for later use. Number three, specimen collection. Loops are provided in each kit. Remove a specimen collection loop from the container. Number four, Collect specimen, this can be plasma or blood. Submerge the round end of the loop into the specimen tube, that is for A, or obtain a loopful directly from the finger prick, that is B. Once obtained, confirm there is a loopful of sample before proceeding. Five, transfer the loopful of sample into the sample buffer tube as shown in the picture. Agitate the loop to mix sample with buffer. Discard the specimen collection loop into the biohazard bag as shown in the picture there. Tear open the foil pouch. Pick up the test strip. Take care not to touch the middle of the test strip. Confirm the packet contains a desiccant packet. If not, discard the test strip and obtain another. Eight, insert the test strip into the liquid in the sample buffer tube. Arrows on the strip should be pointing towards the liquid. Number nine, let the sample buffer with test strips stand on the rack for 20 minutes. So you start your timer immediately. After incubating for 20 minutes, remove strip from the sample buffer tube. Touch the lower end of the strip to paper towel to drain any excess buffer. Lay it flat on the bench and read the results immediately. The results interpretation. There are three options that you can get. The negative result, the recent result, and the long-term result. For the negative result, you've got the control line only. For the recent result, you've got control line and verification line. For the long-term result, you have the control line, verification line, long-term line. So this means that the long term, all three lines are, pos are present. The recent result, control line plus positive verification line is present. The negative, only control line is present. Invalid, control line is absent, irrespective of presence or absence of other lines. Or control line and long term line are present without verification line. So if the test is invalid, test should be repeated using a new strip. These are the examples of long-term results with varying intensities. The intensity of the line does not matter. The most important thing is you, the presence of the line. Uh, so these are, you can see the varying intensity in the long-term line. These are also examples of recent results with varying intensities. So the most important thing is the presence of a line and its intensity does not matter. Record results and circle the appropriate field. So you put your test name, the Asante HIV-1 rapid test for recent, and you circle the sample type, finger prick or venous blood, plasma or sample or serum. The kit load number, you find it on top of the box or Asante, and the kit expiry date, you find it there too. Then you put your facility name, your name as a tester, and the test date, you fill it in. Then you tick 
if the line is present, you tick the, for the visual results. So the control line, if it's present, you tick. If the verification line is there, you tick. If the control line is there, you tick. These are the recent interpretation. All three lines is long term. Control line plus verification lines, that's recent. And if there's only the control line, that's negative. So you circle the appropriate one. Remember, if there's an invalid, you have to repeat. Then this is the job aid for Asande HIV-1 rapid test for recent infection. So you have to put it at your workstation so that you refer to it every time you are performing the test. Thank you.